from 18, isn't it? How is your preparation? Okay, work hard, study well, and write the test well. Okay, now we are going to revise for our unit test one. This is your question pattern. Section A, Section B, and Section C. Overall, you will be writing for 25 marks. Section A, number in the one, reading comprehension. One passage there is given, given in the question paper. Below that you will have three questions. You have to read the passage, understand the passage. Based on that, the questions are asked. Okay, you have to read the question and answer the questions from the given passage. And the next, choose the correct proper noun. I taught you proper and the common noun, isn't it? Proper noun is nothing but a name of a person, place, things or animals in, in particular. That is proper. For example, as well as common is nothing but name of a person, place, animals or things in general, isn't it? For example, your boys, it is a common, jovial, proper. Girls, common, Gita, proper. Is it clear? Fruits, common, mango, proper, vegetables, common, carrot, yes, proper, countries, common, India, proper, India, common, Puducherry, proper. Is it clear? Choose the correct proper noun and then you will get three questions, each carries of a mark, so overall one of one and a half marks. Choose the correct common noun, okay? In the bracket, the uh, options they have given to you, among that you have to choose the correct proper noun based on the given sentence. Similarly, you have to choose the correct common noun based on the given sentence. And the next, write one proper noun for the given common noun. They will give you common noun for that you have to write the proper noun. For example, um, drinks, you can write, yes, Pepsi. Or Coke. And next, ice cream, butterscotch. Similarly, will, uh, they will give you the proper common noun. You have to write one proper noun for that. You will get two questions. Each carries one mark. And then, pick out the correct homo homophones. Okay? We have to pick out the correct homophones. They, they are given in a fill up format. Inside the bracket, they will give you two words. That is, what is meant by homophone? Homophone is nothing but, homophones are the words which, which has a different spelling and different meaning but has similar sound. Is it clear? So, read the sentence and inside the bracket they will give you the two words which has a different meaning, different spelling but has similar sound. Okay? According to the given sentence, you have to choose any one of the word and write in the filler. Is it clear? For example, no, no. Each word has different meaning, different spelling, but it has a same sound or similar sound. Is it clear? And frame two sentences for the homonyms. Okay, homonyms is nothing but words which has the same spelling, yes, same sound, but different same spelling, same sound, but different meaning. Is it clear? For example, wash. The, the material that we are wear. Is it clear? And one of the, another meaning, wash means same, looking. Is it clear? So they will give you the uh, word. You have to write, frame two sentences. That is one for, okay, it gives you two meaning, right? So you have to write the two sentences. Is it clear, my dear children? You will get, yes, two words, two for each homonyms, you have to write two two sentences. Is it clear? And the next abbreviation, you know, what is meant by abbreviation? It's the shortest form of the brief thing. Is it? They will give you the uh, sentence. You have to write the short form of it. They will give you two each carries of a mark, so overall one mark. And they and then expand the acronyms. It's nothing but they will give you the word. You have to expand and write. For example, they will give you Luna. Expand and write the Luna. Is it clear? And the next section C, Roman letter 3, synonyms. They will give you two synonyms. Each carries half of a mark. So overall one mark. And then antonyms. That is uh, two antonyms. They will give you each carries half of a mark. Overall one mark. And then answer the following. Answer the following. 
two two marks. Is it clear? For example, how do you identify my skin? Listen carefully. This is a new topic, I think so. So listen carefully. Okay, any of uh, already I taught you. Once again, you will revise. How do you identify? How do you identify my skin? First, you have to read the lines. For example, my hobby is reading. This is the first line. And you have to read the second line. It helps me. Okay. Uh, for finding the, for identifying vitamin C, you have to concentrate on the end of the line. Okay. The end of the line should have same sound. Okay. For example, my hobby is reading. Reading. It sounds in this way. And it helps me. Okay. So here, reading me has a different sound. So first you have to give the name by letter A. Okay, no need to write I fan or aroma. Okay, give just A. That is enough. And then it helps me. So there is no similar sound. So I am going to give, give new alphabet. That is B. Is it clear? Okay, it starts from the alphabet A. Okay, next. In thought breathing. In thought breathing. See the name? Breathing. It's already, already we have reading. So both endings are same. So you can give the same name whatever you have given to the given the first line. That is A. And next, it takes me to places. Places. There is no similar sound. So I am going to give new name, new alphabets. That is C. Is it clear? Okay, once again I tell you, for identifying rhyming scheme, you have to read the line. A concentrate on the end of the each line. The lines which ends with the same sound, you have to give the same alphabets for those sounds. Rest of the uh, lines, you can give a new alphabet. Is it clear, my dear children? Okay, uh, whatever the synonyms, antonyms, question answers is given in your textbook. Okay, go through it thoroughly and read it once again. Okay, concentrate, study well and write the best well. All the best, my dear children.